Wow, wow, wow. Wicked is far exceeding all expectations. It debuted to the biggest first day sales at the U.S. box office of any musical in history. And as of right now, Wicked is projected to take in about $117 million at the domestic box office this weekend, making it the third biggest debut of the year. And the year is almost over. The only two bigger films in 2024 were Deadpool and Wolverine that opened at $211 million in the U.S. and Inside Out 2, which pulled $151 million. Amazing for Universal and everybody attached to Wicked. And... And one of the reasons that Wicked is doing so well at the box office is that it's even attracting people that don't like musicals, like Adele. That's right, shockingly, Adele doesn't like musicals. I love them. My favorite musical of all time is Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Number two is Sideshow. Number three is Man of La Mancha. Well, tied with Rent. And the list could go on and on and on. Adele first made headlines for her disdain of musicals last year when she appeared on the very last carpool karaoke ever with James Corden. She, she said, I effing hate musicals. She added, quote, I just don't need to hear everything in effing song all the time, you know? I also think the ego suits me better. A reference to the EGOT, the Emmy, the Grammy, the Oscar, the Tony. She doesn't need a Tony. She doesn't like musicals. She effing hates them. Well, much to my surprise, during her concert in Las Vegas last night, at her residency that's wrapping up, Adele told the audience she's going to go see the Wicked musical in the movie theaters. These are her exact words that I transcribed from the video. Quote, I really don't like musicals, but whatever this Wicked campaign is going on, I'm gagged to see it, which is absolutely crazy because I didn't like the musical itself. The marketing campaign worked. She saw the Wicked musical, didn't like it, but she's going to go watch the movie now. Amazing. I think the real litmus test is heterosexual men. Are they going to go watch Wicked? Have they? Are you a heterosexual man? Have you seen it? Will you see it? Let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't watched my review earlier today, I shared all my thoughts. And actually, I have some more thoughts, which I didn't say in my review. There were so many times watching Ariana where vocally she was giving me pop R&B. She was giving me pop and R&B and not legit, you know, the, the Broadway voice. And that took me out of it. That is what contributed to me feeling like, oh, I'm watching Ariana Grande play Galinda. And like I said, she was good, you know, a solid B, maybe even a B plus, but Cynthia Erivo was just so much better. It demanded a Glinda that was on her level. And I don't think Ariana was. But having said all that, I actually want to go see it again. I want to go see it again. I think I would enjoy it just as much or more a second time. I might be one of those people going to the sing-alongs starting Christmas Day. So yeah, don't sing in the theaters. Wait till the sing-alongs. All right, thoughts on what Adele said? Thoughts on Wicked? Thoughts on everything? Let me know in the comments section.